Hi, welcome to the Fit and Healthy Today show. Today our subject matter will be acne. Uh, most very common problem between our uh, ages between 12 and 40s, particularly for adolescents and premenopausal women. 80% of people between those ages suffer from some form of mild, moderate, or heavy acne. So heavy subject matter here. I'm going to try and get through as much information as I possibly can in the time that I have. First of all, acne, hmm, we have these little glands under our skin that produce something called sebum or sebum. And what it is is it keeps the skin moist. It's an oil gland. What happens is, is certain things can cause an increase in production of the sebum and cause little areas to get clogged under the pores, bacteria, and form either blackheads, which is a mixture with, the, with something called keratin under the skin and various skin pigments, or actually get inflamed and become slightly infected. So we're going to give you some suggestions today. We're going to define it, give you some suggestions as far as diet is concerned, and then the supplementation you can do to help alleviate the symptoms of acne. First of all, hormonal fluctuations or imbalance are probably one of the biggest causes of premenopausal and adolescent acne, which primarily arises from androgens, the conversion of uh, testosterone into dehydrotestosterone, and then estrogens are somewhat antagonistic, particularly environmental estrogens. In a nutshell, uh, hormones are fluctuating all over the place, and it causes acne and the sebum to overproduce. Poor diet, poor digestion, uh, you don't diet break down fats, you have the wrong kinds of foods, you take in toxic chemicals, over 3,000 different toxic chemicals in the U.S. added to food, um, will cause your liver to become toxic. Your cellular, on a cellular level, you become toxic. You're not digesting your foods. The liver becomes imbalanced. You just cannot properly regulate your hormones or stabilize the hormones. Emotional distress, increases in cortisol, cause hormones to become disrupted. Uh, and, and cortisol releasing causes kind of like a battery acid on the vascular system, so it decreases circulation. Um, nutritional defici deficiencies. In order to maintain healthy skin, healthy bacterial levels in the skin, and the proper sebum content in the skin, uh, certain nutrients are required to maintain health in that regard. Uh, food sensitivities uh, or chemical exposures. So if you get chemicals or you have certain types of allergies, allergies make you inflamed and hypersensitive, and so it'll make the skin inflamed and hypersensitive to everything, and therefore you'll get that acne breakout. Um, chemical exposure, particularly with those 3,000 chemicals that I mentioned, along with all the pesticide chemicals, all the other clinging chemicals that we're exposed to, Aye, your body has to detox all of these. I heard an estimation that my great-grandparents were exposed in a lifetime to chemicals of what we're exposed to in one day. Just a lot more chemicals than the old days, 100 years ago. Genetics uh, can affect it, a propensity towards having more skin issues or having thinner skin or how your sebum reg regulates itself or how good your liver Genetically, uh, certain people, families who have problems with acne, their kids will have more problems, but we can reduce it with some of the other suggestions I'm going to give. Candida. The sugar feeds that candida, and with such high amounts of sugar holics, people who consume a lot of sugar, processed foods, it feeds something called candida or otherwise, aka known as yeast. And that yeast just goes crazy. It causes you to become inflamed, hypersensitive, and actually, literally, they have done testings on the skin as far as the glucose is concerned when people have diabetes or high sugar content and literally how the skin and the cells process sugar comes out definitely through the skin. Um, we're going to address diet first of all and the things that you can do dietary um, to help and then the things that you can avoid that hinder the process or, or contribute to acne. Diets and good old Jack Elaine 40 years ago said Diets of unprocessed foods. Good old wholesome shopping the perimeter of the grocery store. A lot of fruits and vegetables. Good sources of quality protein. Now mind you, hormone-free protein because guess what? Most of the meats we find standardly in grocery stores are full of growth hormone, steroids, which also cause breakouts, 
and other chemicals that they inject, dyes and everything else. So finding good clean sources of meat or vegetable sources of protein like beans, cheeses, certain things like that are going to be much less likely to have those growth hormones provided that they are hormone free and you have to look for that. Um, dark green and orange vegetables, the carotenoids and then the green vegetables. And then there are certain foods that contain an acid called osic acid, which includes almonds, beets, cashews, and chards, chard, um, Swiss chard, we call it. And those actually, those acids really can help reduce breakouts, bottom line. So eating those types of foods, which most of us like other than Swiss chard, it's kind of oof, but if you can add vinegar and things to it. But generally those other types of things, we like almonds and beets and that type of stuff, really helps uh, with acne. A quarter cup of ground flax seeds or at least 35 grams of fruit or vegetable fiber. If you don't have adequate amounts of fiber in the diet, you can't detox. You can't rid the bowel of the toxins. And the longer your toxins stay in the bowel, the more they get reabsorbed back into the body and make you toxic all over again. Um, nuts and seeds like almonds and walnuts, uh, ones that you're not allergic to. Uh, good fats, what we call good fats in the diet, almonds, walnuts, pecans, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, avocados, they reduce inflammation. And they can help also stabilize those hormones that we discussed earlier uh, to help reduce acne symptoms. Um, we talked about quality protein, making sure and doing your best to make it more vegetable sources of protein uh, or organic sources. Um, lots of water. So, you know, they tell you eight glasses a day. So that means an eight ounce glass of water about every two hours. And obviously you gotta adjust that accordingly because if we do one uh, right before we go to bed, we're gonna be up in the middle of the night. So you need more of your water in your earlier parts of your day, but a minimum of a glass of water every two hours. So carrying that water bottle along. Water cleanses the cells, it detoxes, it moves bowel along. It's one of the key detoxifying agents. And so many people are drinking sodas and coffee and things like that, that they're not washing and cleaning out the cells. Um, Active live bacteria yogurt. There's things like Daniva and other, most of those only contain just a few strains of bacteria, but they can be helpful in building up some of that bacteria levels in the bowel that ha can help you fight off those staph infections with those little white breakouts. Foods to avoid, and, and this I kind of really want to focus on, especially among the kids and the sugarholics. You gotta avoid junk and processed foods as much as you can if you have acne issues. I mean, this is junk. They're full of hydrogenated oils and fats. Uh, fats that literally are chemical. They don't break down. They're called trans fats. And some actually governments and city governments have outlawed them. Um, sugar encourage, encourages oil production and bacteria yeast. And remember how I told you how they actually literally tested the skin? There literally is something called skin diabetes, which basically means you have these cells in your skin that hold a lot more sugar and much more sugar receptive. And under those circumstances, guess what? Sugar feeds bacteria and yeast, so you're gonna break out more. So getting yourself off of that sugar to change those cells and how they receive sugars is very, very important. Food allergies, particularly to dairy, wheat, corn, chocolate, those tend to be some of the worst offenders other than hydrogenated foods to contribute towards acne. So if you can avoid those for a while uh, to see whether or not your body responds or reacts or eliminate them and maybe add one at a time and see if it, if it aggravates your acne, very good option to choose. Obviously, acne isn't just a physical thing. It affects people emotionally, especially kids. People make fun, uh, all those kinds of things. As an adult, you can usually deal with it a little bit better. But kids are, are sensitive uh, to their peer pressure. Hello, I'm Mike, and I have an unusual acne story to share with you today. It's about how I completely got rid of my severe acne and how I finally enjoyed looking in the mirror for the first time after 19 years of suffering. How did I do it? Well, a lot of what really worked for me is stuff you probably won't read about in conventional medicine books or skincare magazines. And I bet it will work for you too. I'm gonna to tell you my story because it's probably very similar to yours. It doesn't matter if you're a guy or a gal, anyone with acne will relate to this story. 
And if you watch this entire video, which will not be online for long, I will do more than just tell you a story. I'll give you the solution I discovered and used to this very day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to eradicate most of your existing acne in the next 30 days and how to permanently eliminate the root cause of your acne and gain the clear skin you've always dreamed of. I've never given away this much information before in a free video that you can watch online all in one sitting, so I hope you won't miss this chance to learn crucial facts that could help you cure your acne once and for all. There are three easy principles you must understand in order to gain permanently clear skin. The three critical principles you must know are, one, what acne really is and why you have it, two, what doesn't work and what makes your acne worse, and three, the only proven way to get rid of acne forever. So what can you expect if you embrace these three easy principles? Well, you can permanently cure your acne within 30 to 60 days, stop acne breakouts and see actual results in less than seven days, eliminate blackheads, excessive oiliness and redness, remove most types of scars and acne marks, look and feel better and regain your self-esteem, dramatically improve the quality of your life. So let me reiterate, if you watch this video from start to finish and follow what I teach you, you will undoubtedly see your acne fade away. Don't worry, this is not another sales page for acne medication, another topical acne gel, acne cleanser or lotion, another crazy acne diet scam, another acne vitamin B5 therapy, another herbal or Chinese acne remedy. This is real information you can use right now. You might be wondering who I am and why I'm sharing this critical material with you. Well, my name is Mike Walden. I'm a certified nutrition specialist, health consultant, medical researcher, speaker, and author, and I'm also a former acne sufferer. Over the past 14 years, I've helped men and women in 157 countries to permanently get rid of their acne and obtain flawless, even-toned skin. And today, I would like to help you.